Five on the line for Syracuse. Carter coming near side, little stutter step, cuts it back to midfield and then some to the 45 of Syracuse. That is a big gainer brought down there by Coley. Big hole off the left side. Michael Carter to the 20 and pushed out of bounds. And we're lucky that Sam Howell's okay. Carter trying to set up a little screen that was sloppy, but turns into a clean play. Trying to get the corner of the end zone, and he'll be just shy. They will spot this, it appears, around the one-yard line. Breakers all over the place in this Carolina offense. Here's one of them, Carter. And Carter, look at him go. And just like that, Carter turns on the speed down the sideline. He's solid one-two punch to complement each other nice. And this is coming off of a 21-day layoff. And here he goes again, just shredding the middle of that BC defense before Max Richardson finally got to him. Or is that an estimate? I'm so old, they weren't a million dollars back then, Greg. <laughs> they were just stairs. Inflation. 24 to 16. North Carolina, and there's Carter. Look at him go. Michael Carter. And it was only a matter of time with this North Carolina offense, right? All the talents. There he is, making catches out of the edge. He caught everything after he could see. Right up the middle, once again breaking tackles is Michael Carter, and it's first and goal for North Carolina. Get our hands up, we have to focus on the run, and above all, when they check, we have to check out of some of those blitzes. They made some change. Well, can't stand up to the run here. As Michael Carter looks like he has another North Carolina first down to get ready for the draft. Carter, first down. Let's check in with Kevin Nagundi. Is close. And now Virginia Tech with a couple of touchdowns has made this a one-score game. Although Carter gets loose again, breaking tackles into the red zone and down to the five-yard line. Stop all the talent, especially on the perimeters. Here's Carter after a 29-yard catch and run by Javante Williams. Michael Carter caps the drive with a 16-yard touchdown run. I think they're the best in the country one-two-wise, duo-wise, because they're both very versatile. How about the patience right there by Carter? Like just the, the spatial patience, patience and then the ability to get back inside of that hole. One of those things that every coach loves. Michael Carter turns the corner, breaks a tackle, first down and more. Let's check in with Kevin Nagandi. First and 25, Michael Carter. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A house call on first and 25 for North Carolina as Michael Carter takes it to the... The end zone, 62 yards, another North Carolina touchdown. Watch 34 follow him, okay? And then Matheny, you're going to be the guy that's do driving down, replacing. 34 leave. Matheny, you are there. Make that play. You're dropped right down in that box where that ball is going to get run. Strictly for that play. The tight end takes Tisdale out. You gotta replace and make that tackle. In the country and rushing, that's certainly gonna help your quarterback in play action and through the air. On third and four, they run Carter, able to get to the outside. And Carter, close to the goal line, no signal yet. He's out of bounds at the one. Or is he in? I'm calling this game from home and I can't see an official. He's so I'll have to trust what they're putting up on the television and it says he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Into the end zone for a touchdown. Yes, a nice patient run bouncing. We'll see again the ball. So the ball's in the right hand. So you're right, the, the left foot. Paolo has a rushing touchdown. Looking deep here. Got a receiver. Caught at the 20. Michael Carter. He was a pretty good receiver out of the backfield. Dabo Sweeney came out after the game and said he will also miss the Notre Dame game next week. A little bobble there by Howe, but they're going to get the playoff. And here comes Carter. Carter cutting to the sideline. And a huge gain as he steps out. Off to a great start. He has 38. 
Williams and Carter, the only two backs on the same team, over 100 yards per game this season. There goes Michael Carter. Carter inside the 10, ushered out at the 6. First down and goal for UNC. A rare third down for Carolina. Heels need 11. Out in the flats, they'll get that and a lot more. Towards the pylon, a punishing finish for Michael Carter, and he's there for the touchdown. And Williams are both very good receivers. They're terrific when they're completely uncovered, and that's the second time this afternoon that Duke hasn't covered the back out Early of the backfield. The and then Carter Previous just finishes by showing a bunch of shoulder pads and knee pads, and I think it's in the end zone. Kelly Stopper, Roy Philpot, Alex Chapel. 13 to go. Wallace Wade Outdoor Stadium. A little shake, a little bake. Michael Carter, and that's an easy touchdown. Yeah, in the divide zone or slice zone where the tight end, Walston, comes across the formation. Well, we have seen over a 1,000 yards total offense in the first three quarters here at Chapel Hill today. What will the fourth quarter hold? Well, Howell has been outstanding, continues that. Right away goes to Carter for the end zone. And he continues to add on to a sensational day. Five touchdown passes. This one, 46 yards. And they run Carter on a little wheel route. Runs to the flat and turns up. And it's, it's just too much speed for DJ Taylor. And you see him up the top of the screen, kind of runs that wide. And then, boom, up the field, DJ Taylor. Even smiling, and for Notre Dame, boy, a significant loss to that secondary. Ball moved to the 44, and once again, Carter escapes, still running yards after contact. You said it an hour ago. Yeah. Exactly where the answers are so far in this game. He seems to be really locked in. Carter on the carry, and the touchdown for Carolina. Michael Carter makes it look easy on a 17-yard run, and the Tar Heels on the board. Highlight film. I mean, this is a great job by the offensive line. Just getting a hat on a hat. Michael Carter trots into the end zone, and you're likely going to have to fill a couple spots next year. Here's Carter bouncing again and stretching for the touchdown. Michael Carter makes it three possessions, three touchdowns for Carolina. Took A.J. Rogers into the end zone with him, Roddy, for the score. 11 and 22 here in this first quarter. Very similar to the first touchdown, just his own play up the middle. He's got a nice hole. Carter's the running back with Howell here on the first and goal. And Michael Carter easily into the end zone for his third rushing score of the half. Of the rushing touchdowns have been some version of this. Look at the block by Garrett Walson up at the top, cutting down the backside. Michael Carter. We got an incredible day with the Surratt family coming up on draft day. His brother Sage is a receiver away for us. He's also a top two pick. Look out. Carter's in the secondary and down the sidelines. It's a foot race. Can they catch him? They cannot. The heels. Three possessions. Three touchdowns. Stretch the lead. Get upfield. You can get underneath them. That's what they wanted to do in this game. Get upfield. Make them pay for being vertical as a defensive line. And then that's just poor tackling in the back end by Miami. It's one thing to... You got a running back who's sending messages to big hitting safeties. And then breaking tackles and going for the end zone again. This is getting ridiculous. Heels stretch the lead. And it's Carter who joins his backfield mate Williams in the end zone. Well, the, the thing that stands out to me is the vision right here of these backers. Watch, watch how they come into this. Because Carter is so short, imagine being a linebacker and trying to find Michael Carter first. That's the first thing. So he's able to get through there, and then it's just poor effort and bad angles by the defensive backs. I mean, he's, he's, five, he's listed at 5'8". It's a testament to his confidence. He's not short on that. Carter in the seam, in the clear, foot race. Can they get him? Yeah, they're going to finally catch him at the 15. Might choose to return, play one more year at quarterback. Is that you try to get some separation from those guys. Oh, my. Carter again. Oh, my goodness. Spinning, twisting, adding to his total. Finally banged out inside the 10.